Hi Capricorn, it's me Archer. What up? How you doing? Hang on, I got everything booted up. We got the hacker proof software installed and uploaded and update. I could teach anybody to do that stuff if I just wanted to. Let me go over and get Instagram. Hi, how you doing, Capricorn? What up? What you up to? Hang on, I'll be right back. Uh, burb, hang tight. Doop, doop, doop. Gonna go live over here now. All right. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Capricorn. Instagram, what up? I G O G Capricorn. I dig it. That's cool. G O A T. Oh, so we're, we're going to do the whole thing in like abbreviations. That's cool. All right. How you doing? Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course. All right. Let's see what's going on for you and the one on your mind. I'm only on my sixth coffee of the day, so we're not doing too bad. All right. Appreciate you for being here too, Capricorn. If you could return the love for me, please. Love the like over here. Share the channel. Share the video. Help get us out and the familiar to grow. So we can just heal everybody. I totally appreciate you for it. It's the thing we do. It's a genre here. Let's just let's just make it crowded. I got plenty of room. My my chariot's as big as a whale. About to set sail, and I can manifest a bigger one if I needed to. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications over here. I do go live every Thursday nights at 7:30 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. And tonight is the live all signs with the April contest. So if you'd like to enter into the contest, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel of course and set the bell to all notifications and then in the live stream chat box or in the comment section after the live tonight you hashtag archer astrology hashtag your sign their sign hashtag caitlin petty hashtag hashtag whatever you want you can even just hashtag hashtag you can put hashtag shut up archer hashtag hashtags don't work i don't care do you capricorn and then you'll be entered there's four chances i brought back some stuff from cleveland i i went to see the total eclipse and i, I brought back more than just this t-shirt it's still a cool t-shirt though i got a lot of cool t-shirts i hang on to them all right so um yeah that's all you gotta do there's gonna be four chances to win next week at the following live we will pull four names randomly who will win set of prizes okay so good luck to you appreciate you good luck right okay um, thank you for being here and being a part of this too. While you're here, feel free. Hi, Cappy Goat. What's up, Cappy? Feel free to page of swords all over the channel as much as you like. Stop in the chat and say hi. Have some lunchtime fun with my OG mod squad. Your concierge for an evening. They'll be there tonight too. They put up with me way more than they should. Hi, Nerf Flower. What up? Um, okay. Nerf Flower? Nerf Follower. Oh, now I just saw like a Nerf gun shooting flowers. That's kind of cool though. Lilies? Lilies might resonate. Okay. A Nerf gun shooting foam lilies. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> is, that, is that like banging a bunch of coconuts? <laughs> Anyways, page of swords all over my channel as much as you like. We've got. I still. I, I am not making fun of your name. I'm making fun of my inability to read stuff. Okay, I don't have my glasses on, so that is not directed at you. That is completely just right at me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, page of swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got the base covers with Bill over here. Page of Pentacles jumped out. Little pop up preview coming in. Um. You taking somebody to school or are you doing some teaching or something with the three of swords at the bottom of the deck when you made the card pop three of swords but they're my favorite three of swords and you're like okay this guy's got an issue no 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 three of swords here this is my favorite because it shows those three swords everything that you've gone through and been through in the tub getting everything washed off down the drain so they're cleaned up and they can be hung on the wall in the four of swords for those things that you dreamed about. Okay, so you're actually learning from the past or you're actually teaching someone from the past. We got to go deeper to find out more, which we shall. But meanwhile, there is the uh, base covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. And from my adventures in Cleveland, there's three new base covers coming up. We're getting everything finished up so I can get those on the channel. Um, they're going to be from Kaylin Petty, John Lennon. Might have heard of him once or twice. And then this little awesome garage band out of Liverpool called the Beatles. They, they, they probably will do pretty good. I mean, they're not they're not like Gwen Stefani, but they're all right. I got some pick a card readings for my next pick you. See how those work out. New one of those go. Those go live every Tuesday nights at 730. And um, yeah, everything's prioritized and organized. Right now with me being off work for the rest of this week here, um, you might have to look between videos in the live part, but it's cool. Because you've got, um, I'm working on the playlist too. So just check the playlist. It's easy. Okay. All right. We work smarter, not harder here. Okay. So, all right. We're going to take a look at the energies for you and the one on your mind. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere. You know the usuals. Hi, Faith. What up? How you doing? All right. We're going to do a nine card spread on the table with a 10th card outcome for you and the one on your mind. All the messages are for your highest and greatest good. Da, 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 da. You know how that goes. 
When you're with me, I'm your ride or die. I'm the crystals. Everything is good when you're with me. I got you ultimately and definitely protected. All right, let's see. What is up for you? The one on your mind, your thoughts, your feelings and emotions, all the fun stuff. Let's see what we got. We're going to use the Grand Theft Auto deck, the Urban Tarot, for the base cards, doing the heavy lifting. And then we're going to use the Music Tarot, which is still rocking from the Cleveland energy. <laughs> In a Queen of Pentacles energy. Missy Elliott already showed up. Who likes Missy Elliott? Anyways, everything's going to be for the highest greatest good. This one's handing the boatload of clarifiers, okay? So build a bigger boat if you need to. Here we go. Who need a bigger boat? Let's do it to it. Who's watching Jaws? That's a classic. Cool. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Capricorn. What do we have for the greatest of all time? What do we got for the Capricorn and the one on their mind? Let's go for it. Let's make some spaghetti. Let's throw everything we got at the table. See what sticks. Two shuffles. Here we go, Capricorn. You ready? Get that bag. All right. One and two. Let's love this deck for the greatest of all time. Here we go. Bottom of the deck and your outcomes, the two of cups, cancer energy. And seeing a choice and following some divine timing in your path when the timing is right. Maybe you're noticing repeated twos all the time. There have been a lot of 22 showing up. Maybe 222 keeps popping out at you or you're looking at the clock at 222 all the time. It's there. It's in the ethers that something is like divinely being guided for a choice that you made when you stood in front of Dr. Michael Isaac Newton's wall. And he was like, you sure you want to be a Capricorn? God, we'll call, we'll call him Michael. We'll call him Isaac. It's cool. And, you, and you're like, yeah, you see, you see the awesome legs that, that Capricorn gets that awesome little billy goat legs. I want to be a Capricorn. Okay. You clicked accept. And then somebody shows up, knocks on your door. It's like, boom, boom, boom. And what was that? And you clicked accept, you know? So it's in divine timing. <laughs> whoa but it's definitely good this this is not anything bad look at this did i not just mention the two show up maybe you're born on the 22nd but right underneath the two of cups is the two of swords this is why i love tarot totally and i love this deck this is my deck but look at that right there that that faith the divine timing to make a choice follow your divine path follow your arrow or sword right to that point or a meetup maybe something about like uh like a like that that moment where you walk into a store and like they're there they're there too and you might not even notice it at first but they might notice you because you're kind of busy in this five of pentacles working heavy on your healing to coming out of the cold and to try to make things work out better all right you could be like a healer maybe you're in the medical field or you're leveling up in some way to just to teach others okay to really analyze the situation with the ace of cups nice that's that fresh start strong cancer energy showing up on this as well too but in the ethers there there's a there's a, a cup that overfloweth for someone right it's like a damn getting ready to burst on this one. Let's go for it. Okay. What is your present energy? Oh my goodness. I kid you not. It's a three of cups. We only got one, two, three. This is like one cup. Ha, ha, ha. Two cup. Ha, ha. Three of cups happiness shows you are actually working with the ethers and, and those energies from like above and beyond. With the sun in Aries and the moon in Gemini heading towards cancer maybe you're already making plans or you're already ready for the weekend like yeah archer between the eclipse and the retrogrades it has been a week so even though well, like you're not forgetting your roots though you're staying like grounded stable and, and staying happy doing whatever you can the capricorns i know are the most motivators in the zodiac you guys can make you have to just make anyone feel better right this one here especially with your dominant rock saturn coupled up right now in pisces that can even get you a little emotion, a little water and earth making mud so you can go mud bogging, go off road or something, that type of a thing. But it's almost like between that and the Mercury retrograde, you, you might already be at the point even like Monday evening, you were like, okay, um, we're all still here. It was just an eclipse, not an apocalypse. We're all still doing it. We're moving forward. And you know, like Juno's in, in, is in retrograde and all that other stuff. So maybe you're just being like, maybe you're kind of bored with the retrograde talk. I can dig that. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. I do this for you, Capricorn. So maybe you're even feeling more with Saturn and Pisces. You're waiting for something bigger to come in. Like 2001, a space odyssey shows up. And it's it's like the Jupiter Uranus energy that's going to come a little later. When when it's like when it's like Cheech and Chong, but it doesn't sound like Dave's not here, man. It's more like, I'm sorry, Dave's not here. Okay? <laughs> maybe you're getting phone calls that you have no clue what they're about. All right. It could it could be a soulmate that that dude trying to sell you the extended warranty on your vehicle could be a soulmate. He maybe maybe back in the day he was the blacksmith that fixed you like something on your chariot. Who knows? Strong cancer energy. Meanwhile, your immediate influence on this is the six of cups. 
that's Scorpio too. Oh my goodness, have you got the emotions coming in this one here? So this here shows a deep connection that you're you're tied into and you're feeling it. Maybe these are starting to cause this in, in your energies. That's got that deeper connection that's got you tracing your roots back. Maybe even doing a little bit of genealogy. I'm seeing a Capricorn with an Ancestry.com account. Just trying to find out where they came from. Right back to Abraham Lincoln. You know, that little that little log cabin in Illinois. That's where it all began. Oh, so nice. That one there. It's, I've, I've, my dad was totally in genealogy. He totally dug dead people. So... I, we got traced back to like the Bush family and then the Osmond family on each side. It was interesting stuff. Anyways, I digress. Back at your reading, that Six of Cups shows you wanting to go deeper and to kind of connect everything in as all these energies shift into Taurus, Jupiter and Taurus, and and um, that expansion to also level up and get the bag and go to a higher level on all those levels. That's a lot of levels. We're going to need clarifiers for that. I swear, if I pull a nine here and we're Nikola Tesla 369ing, I, I, I might just walk away. I might just be like, we're done. We're good. Close enough for government work. Four of wands. You literally have the deep soulmate twin flame connection both showing up here. As a fox and the hound meets Ford and GM that comes in. It's hybrid connections, right? Something that goes a little deeper into that. Like how uh, when, when, when electricity was invented, Nikola Tesla style. John D. Rockefeller didn't get nervous and worried about like, like, oh my gosh, nobody's going to use kerosene anymore to, to heat their lamps. He went to Nikola Tesla and he went to Ed, Thomas Edison, J.P. Morgan and all that. And he was like, bet you guys are going to need something to run them generators, aren't you? Yep. So you've got an idea for an idea on top of all this to awaken to this. Angel number 364 might be something that resonates to you as well. Or 4.36 p.m. I'm seeing too. Anyhow. Okay. So. This connection here is what's giving you into this newer, fresher type of an energy and kind of like knowing exactly what you want to manifest, three of cups, using that Scorpio energy, the six of cups to make it happen. Could be an age difference between you and the one in your mind. But then the four of wands is that wish being granted. When the four of wands, I love the four of wands. When this comes in here, I mean, that's a beautiful looking card. Look at those wands. Those are gorgeousness. But when it's in your goal or destiny, it's, it's, it's all things combined. It's the goal and the destiny, what you're in this lifetime to achieve and what you're manifesting for future generations and things to come from there. Very nice, okay? We're going deep on this one. Hot tub time machine deep. I like it. Oh my gosh, here's a Capricorn that really likes movie night. Okay, I, I, no, no judgment-free zone. That's cool. Do you? What's on their side of the fence? Their present energy is the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy shows up. So this is right at the head of the Ten of Pentacles table. And so far, you got a few cards that showed up in Sagittarius. You might want to check that reading out. I just finished that. But the Ten of Pentacles shows they got their stuff on point. Maybe there's someone who never seems to make time for you. That might have you a little frustrated and they're really heavy in their work. But like maybe you guys together are putting together some kind of a plan. Side income, Ten of Pentacles is that energy that gets to the head of the Ten of Pentacles table. And it is whatever you manifest it. Okay. So this here is showing somebody that like they're, they're, they've got the answers they've searched for. They've got the direction, the plan, and the guidance and the 3D to make this work out. All right. Maybe you guys kind of teach each other on this. We'll see. All right. They, they just don't seem to make a lot of time for you. They're all focused on their money. Where's the love? All right. What's their immediate energy? It's the five of wands. A lot of work that they're working on. The five of wands is that ability to overcome those strifes and the struggles. And I, I know most readers go right to the, oh, look at all that. Look at all the hard stuff there. Look at all the struggles. But check it out. It's a baseball team showing up, right? That's the offense. That's the defense. That's everybody working together. <laughs> Football, baseball, you know what I mean? Baseball would be your outfielders and, and everybody all right up to the home plate, the pitcher and the catcher showing up. Who's on first? That's an antique. Careful with that one, Archer. So you got something, maybe maybe something like that. Maybe they're, you know, I'm not a betting man, but they're, they're in the ability to group people together to put all the plans into place on this here, okay? Maybe trying to figure out a way to get onto your energetical level, all right? The 15th is a date that resonates. You're them as well as, as the 14th too. All right, so let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it and get the potential outcome, which is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. Right there is what's coming at you with, what have we got? Jupiter's going to enter into Taurus. It's going to conjunct Uranus and Taurus. Poor Uranus. The butt of all science jokes. Aquarius gets it, though. <laughs> Anyways, could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus in this situation. But the outcome is that coming together, the meeting of the minds, and keeping all the energies polished up, good to go, like the shoeshine boys here. Money exchange, credit given where credit's due, and it's kind of like... Even those struggles that you're working to overcome can be can be handled here with this. You guys want this to work out in the outcome. You really could be a life path number six or a five as well, too. All right, so let's check out going forward what's possible in coming energy. Hey, Ed, what up? 
All right, possible incoming energy, three of pentacles. Repeating three show up too. You or them could be a life path number 33, and that is a past man. That's a right, that's an ascended number right there. I don't care who you are. <laughs> three of pentacles is those blueprints, the plans that are set. So you have a solid foundation going forward that builds a skyscraper on this. Maybe you're into real estate and investing, commercial, going brokerage, property management, and all that stuff, where you guys might have multiple properties, places that allow you to tour the country and 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 like it's your version of this Ten of Pentacles dream, the American dream, which is changing with Pluto going into Aquarius. All right. So it's going for unless you're if your version's the white picket fence, two car garage, da da da, you're there. If it's the rolling plains with a horse farm and stables and all that cool stuff, you're there. If it's multiple properties there, spirit's gonna help you through it. What is the environmental factors? It's the nine of cups. Oh my goodness, I just got a nine volt to the tongue. You just hooked jumper cables right to me. That was spiritual energy. Thank you, God. Grateful. Nine of Cups. There's the 369 method. It just did a complete conjunct turn down the Zener Z axis. These are the things being dreamt about to manifest and bring them together here so that you, it's forgiving the energies of the past, coupling with that Eight of Cups and going forward on this here. Nine of Cups on this. Those are the dreams. I like that. All right. Now, what is the inner emotions? Really? Really? It's the Ten of Cups. We didn't even have to tie it into this ace of cups that's deeper in the energy this is closer than you think like um i'm not a betting man much except when i do go to a casino i just, i for some reason i always kill it at the tables i don't know why and the one time i've like bought a scratch off card it was a winner one time i found one it was a winner i don't know i don't even i don't even get into that stuff like people get the, the lottery tickets you ever are you, are you the, have you been dealing with that too cap where like you you're waiting in line every time you just want to get 20 bucks on pump number three the person in front of you wants to wants to do the lotto and you're like I want to go to lunch, <laughs> right? This is that nine of the ten of cups to manifest the lunch that you dreamt about and to forgive from the past and learn from it to go forward. Not being pigeonholed, even if there is something unique and different, could be an age difference or a difference in mindset or upbringing from you guys that just work out without everybody telling you how to stop, you know? Whether it's children, everything involved, you get to manifest it with that freedom to do the choices that you want, all right? So you've got strong Virgo and Leo is hanging out here. Pisces and Cancer big time. Scorpio and Aries as well. Also some Libra and some Scorpio. No, I mentioned Scorpio. I meant Taurus. Okay, cool. Dave's not here. Stop it. So, all right, let's do another one. It's the Ten of Wands. You've been through a lot. You've been burnt out from all this. This is like having to have a day job, run your side business, keep everything going to keep that hustle strong and just feeling tired. You know, needing a little Capricorn time and wondering why does everything keep happening to me? I even with that three of cups, which it can be like keeping a mask on or keeping that front on to stay happy. Even when you're taking everything like a fire hose of emotion to the face and having to work through it. All you want to do is follow your three of cups dreams to your, your wish that makes you feel safe, comfortable without having to worry about the things that you don't, you know, don't like so much, you know, but confronting everything head on. You don't have to hide it away, turn it around. You can just work with it and take it in the energetical flow. You got balance with the two of pentacles. That's your energy, all right? Staying on your toes and keeping things moving. Even if it's not so much, it just keeps something trying to keep stop you, doesn't it? Queen of cups to the king of swords, nine cups on the three of swords. There's the memories come back, right? The work to heal on it, though, with the nine of cups showing up on repeat. So you could be born on possibly even the 23rd or the 29th shows up. The 19th comes out as well as the 13th and the 11th, also the 4th. But your dreams to get through that, that you keep connecting to, lets you heal. All three of those swords are still cleaned off between the two of you guys and using that sword wisely. Madonna shows up with Marvin Gaye on there. Like a, I'll go with the Weird Al version, like a surgeon. You know where I'm going with that, right? So it's, it's like feeling it all again and then having to relive it and feeling burnt out from it. Like having to always put on that brave face every single day trying to keep your composure. Maybe you've got like vision boards or intention boards. I do both. I do both totally. Because like I see like the, the vision board and, the, and like is like the dream. It's that sketch, like right or wait, sketching ideas for these cards on cocktail napkins, you know? And then the intention board sets the intentions. And then it it's the blueprint that takes things forward for you, okay? Marvin Gaye, it's like you want to know what's going on, but you kind of do because you already heard it through the grapevine, right? But with that five of cups to the two of cups coming back up, maybe you're born on the 25th. That's Jesus' birthday. Happy birthday. Anyways, cool. Honored. But anyways, with that, it's like, remember remember when people try to always like, like jump in front of you in the line and you just got to be like, it's cool. We're fine. No problem. Whatever. Do what you got to do. It's like those, remember when that notebooks that go with the envision boards and the, and the dreams and all that. 
there was a time when like diaries were kept private and secret. You've got one person you talk to, could be a Taurus, possibly a Cancer, maybe even a Leo or an Aquarius. They have five of swords to the ace of swords to show that you that you you work with it to help with the healing energies. And then it's gone from where everybody like puts everything out online. All it like if somebody doesn't notice their diaries, they're like, hey. And you're just like, can we just focus? So you keep getting put into all these different energies in different places. Maybe like like you grew up at where you didn't have that. Like the, maybe the child system is a is a factor or the foster system. Maybe even like the the big pharma, the mental system, where where it's like trying to find a, an, an extra approach so that you're you're prepared. It's prepping for the energies when they come in on this one here to put you on a different path. High priestess to the empress. Look at you go. I think I put these cards in the title card too when I was meditating on your energies. But check that out. You know more than you know you know. And you've got that Penumbrian Veil being lifted with the Eclipse energy and to, to, and to Jupiter and Uranus conjuncting around April 20th. It's going to be go time for you to manifest this one here. But you have that one person on your mind that you still trust to help you with that Five of Cups when you feel like you missed out on something. Scorpio doesn't deserve all these bummer cards. I don't like that it's always like Five of Cups. Oh, you missed the boat. Well, think about it. If you're on the Titanic, which Titanic's like sailing today, April 11th, 1912. Well, not today, but whatever. Go, just go with it, Capricorn. That... That it's like, well, dude, if somebody missed the, that boat and then like three days later they check the newspaper, they'd be like, oh my goodness, I missed that boat and clears those energies. Away. You might be working on like law of resonance as opposed to going just traditional law of assumption, law of attraction, and actually speaking with gratitude instead of being all Abraham Hicks on things like, oh, no, you can't do that. You don't do that. I'm manifesting my why. It's more being like, oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for why Why does my business work so well? Why am I so successful? Why does my person love me? It's it's like Jeopardy, phrasing your stuff to spirit in the form of questions. So kind of be like, you like it? You want it? Two of Pentacles, we'll give you some more of it, okay? It's like, you're the one when everybody's building a shoe cabinet, like I'm seeing that Ikea shoe cabinet, and like there's always screws missing, and you're like, oh my goodness, I cannot, I cannot... And you have to like go find screws that fit and stuff and try to just put it all together. Yet you're always the one that holds it together. Whenever everybody's in that five of cups energy, you show up in an empress. Beyonce shows up with Bjork. That's a lot of bees right there. Maybe maybe you're a busy bee or you're seeing more bees and they resonate to you more. Like all of a sudden, like, like they're all over. They're everywhere and they're kind of wild stuff going on, okay? Could be born on the third too, possibly. The second also comes out of your life path number two or three interesting energy though you you never like even if you're working through something you're on a level up right and you always see things approaching it as a detour you've always got to stop for one extra part or one extra thing or you got to reload something it, it, it it's like non-stop every time you get your plans to talk about it then there's a detour or there's a delay and it's like whoa easy can we can we just get something that's a straight answer you know and just trying to find that guy and it's like the mercury retrogrades everybody's talking about eclipses and retrogrades and you're like Let's see what else is going on. You know, something, can we change the channel? <laughs> I've seen this program. All right, <laughs> thank you, grateful. Interesting messages, thanks God, appreciate you. All right, so let's go forward on this. That Empress, I keep looking at the Empress. That one's interesting here. It's like you're, it's like you're putting yourself on, on a whole different path here to, to be prepared for something. On their side, we got the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands to Temperance, to the Four of Swords, to the Seven of Wands. Look at all the Wands on their side. Capricorn, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles squared, Six Six shows up, or Portal Energies, repeating threes and sixes are in here, and nines, oh my gosh, you guys are both Nikola Tesling on this one here, they kind of, I got nothing else on this, this this here, if I add it up, is the Ace of Wands, they got feelings for you more than you know with that Six of Pentacles, to shine it up, maybe there's a Capricorn that's got a lucky pair of boots that you like keep by the door, or, you, or like your go-to type, or something, they might have a black hoodie that resonates, all right? But on that one there, that eight of wands to the five of wands, they are a they're a busy bee. That's where the bee showed up on this. But you're both in that five of wands. That's the repeating fives that comes out with temperance. Could be a Sagittarius, could be an Aries or a, who's the other one? Leo. Oh my gosh, you got all the fire signs following, and one of them's trying to be quiet. Did you see how he's like, who's the other one? Leo is like, don't tell, don't tell, don't tell. <laughs> or or you got some strong Leo in your chart. But either way, that's showing some divine guidance and communication. It's like clearing the energetical runway. Instead of like dumping a bunch of old lamps on the runway, you're clearing that pathway to let some stuff come in. So maybe what it is is like, do they answer back with questions more than answers and it kind of drives you a little batty all the time? You know, 
they're like in this top shelf manifesting with temperance, the ability to like create and put things together. Maybe you guys help each other. Like when he's the baker, when you is the, the, the chef or when he guys the surgeon or when you guys the tech, you know what I mean? So it's like going through pictures, messages with that four of swords and, and reflecting and remembering the fours are like the healing energies in the tarot that allows you guys to work together and, and to reflect. So you got somebody here that manifests through their dreams or their dreams are speaking to them more or they're like astral projecting on this. With that there, it's like you could be seeing dimes in your path, like like not even pennies, like dimes, like seeing the silver instead of the gold. And it's a deeper investment, like to watch the energetical inflation of, the, of this energy here would go to a solid, traditional, original grassroots investment on this without like being like superstitious about it. Okay. The Four of Swords is the ability to overcome that. So they have that talking energy to this one here. Maybe they've got the gift of gab or whatever it is. They've, they've, they've got more questions than answers or a way to like keep talking with the Seven of Wands to the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo energy. That is that John Travolta proof bubble. Heavy healing energy that comes in on this. The Sevens are that point where you've started to put the things in place to motivate forward from those Six of Wands wishes and victories and the Six of Pentacles meeting of the minds and all that, using that Six of Swords energy to come through. Um, you're then going to be born on the 22nd or the 24th, maybe a life path number four even. That four keeps showing back up in my mind, even though you got three sixes and nines. Intuitively, I keep seeing fours. But then Seven of Wands is that guardedness that shows up to like kind of keep things a little quiet with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands follows that energy. And you've got a lot of repeating threes and sixes. June 7th could also be a date that resonates to you as well as July 3rd possibly and the threes keep repeating again on this one check out like three 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 is an angel number or three thirty three p.m or you are a capricorn that wakes up at three thirty all the time regardless of where you set your light cues and you've tried having all your lights turned off to sleep and it don't work then you try to turn them all on it don't work the tv on the tv off then the tv turns itself on and you're like what's going on you know it's it's that ability to find that peace of mind and maybe they help to get you to that one all right to overcome it with the temperance come in Archangel Michael shows up to keep things protected, guarded, and moving forward under this, okay? And if you look in the back there, it's kind of a little bit of the Midas touch showing up, too, with that crown. Just notice that back there behind Chris Brown from Cole's play. Chris Brown with the crown. That's, oh, that's rhymes. That's beats. You got beats going on, all right? And the justice is in here, too. You're dealing, wow, you're dealing with somebody very interesting here. They've got multiple things going on. Libra energy, but that ability to keep things balanced, their head their heart chakra, and they've been through a lot of the same stuff as you. That's what brought you guys together. And it's the one on your mind, whether it's new, whether it's somebody coming back around who's done some work, it's the one you're thinking of, not me. I won't tell though. I, yeah, I heard, I heard their name too. I heard you just say it. It's cool. We're cool. All right. It's like, but they're on your energetical level. No wonder you keep wondering what they're up to. They're just trying to figure out a way to into your energy and to get on your level. Cause no, give me something on it. That's interesting. Something on that seven of wands to the temperance, please. And thank you. Nine of pentacles to the ten of cups to the knight of pentacles. Well, that's and look, look at that. It's like I didn't even shuffle. The justice card is still hanging out at the bottom of the deck. Strong Libra energy and the ten of pentacles to the nine of swords and the hierophant getting something new from a different level up all night. Playing Kate and Petty staring at the ceiling on repeat. But with that nine of cups, nine of pentacles, ten of cups. Whoa, that's just interesting. The energy I pull off of this is incredible, Capricorn. And it's on the connection of the Six of Pentacles. That once you come together and it's taken a while, this thing takes off like like, like Trigger and the Lone Ranger. You know, Butch and Sundance. And what would Butch be like without Sundance? No Abbott, no Costello, you know, right? It's that ability to work together and comes through teamwork to make the dream work on this here. It's like in the past, they've never been forgiven. Like you're the first to forgive them or even give them a chance. So they've always felt like staying quiet, staying back with the Knight of Pentacles, moving slow and careful and guarded is like the only way to do it because everybody's judged them. And it's like, where did they, where did they get to this point at? You know, right? Like they've been shut down so many times that they just stay quiet. But there, I see that either you or them are looking through your camera, your camera phone, your camera roll, or these old texts and just kind of remembering things on this one. You guys, there's strong mirroring going on and not imposter syndrome. You know, maybe you've been told that or heard that recently or that 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 catchphrase that's going around. I don't look at it as imposter syndrome. It's more like it's 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 the inspiration that you need 
Okay, everything that's already has been done or will be done has already been done, right? So you can sit there and write an awesome song, but it's like the same chord progression. Or you can paint that rose, or you can you can ride that horse in a certain style. And somebody's done that, you're making it your own. It's not imposter syndrome, right? It's that ability. Think about it. Yesterday is the most covered song the Beatles by the Beatles. It's been covered over 2,200 times. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records, all right? It's not like a balloon drop, but it's that ability that I'm, I'm sure Paul McCartney doesn't sit there every time somebody releases yesterday. Oh my gosh, the version they did in 1966 was incredible. Live band, tuned in G, drums, bass, everything. Oh my gosh, I would I would cover that song that way, totally. But it's that ability to, to find it. He, if you ask him about that, he loves it because he shows that how much his work and what he went through when he wrote that song about him and Jane Asher, yup, how it, it draws other people's emotions and abilities. It's an inspiration. It's not imposter syndrome. It's finding that one inspiration because nobody can draw or paint that rose like you, Capricorn. Nobody can mold that clay bowl like you, Capricorn. All right, not even Bob Ross or any of them people, right? Even if you are watching Ghost and Dirty Dancing in a back-to-back -back block. All right, it's it's that uniqueness that that allows you guys to embrace your quirks and and everything that makes you you. Okay, very nice. Knight of Pentacles, slower but slow and steady. Winning the race on this to the Ten of Cups. Strong Pisces energy. Also, I'm seeing the twentieth and the tenth comes up with the twenty seventh, twenty sixth as well. But then that I don't know why I keep going down to that Four of Swords. That dreams. There's a reoccurring dream maybe or something. That keeps connecting you guys together or you keep singing the same dream that involves like horseback riding okay i'm really drawn to those cards that's taurus capricorn virgo and libra energy too okay the cardinal shifts could be affecting this one too all right so let's get something on the outcome is three of pentacles to the nine of cups to the ten of cups interesting reading totally capricorn all right let's see oh. the knight of cups the horses keep showing up. The white horse is right there. Taylor Swift comes in. Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Cups, Cancer energy. That th th This is that connection that, that allows you guys to not be pigeonholed and to enjoy and embrace your quirks. Taylor Swift will get on stage and do a sellout concert. She's never saying Caitlin Petty's staring at the ceiling, but that's because she she cries on her, she, there's teardrops on her guitar because she didn't write it. But it's okay. It's cool. It's that she has that ability to embrace her own quirks. Do you remember the ad she did for like Apple Music and she was on the treadmill playing a totally different song than what you'd expect her to be listening to until she like falls off the treadmill? <laughs> right? Who's in the treadmill running in that? But it's that ability to embrace your quirks. It's David Hasselhoff eating the cheeseburger and then being good about it, you know, and, and making the most of it. It's a unique love that you guys have that allows you guys to not be pigeonholed, to not have to follow the norm to not have to get that one house in the suburbs. But if you want something out in the highlands or you want something down in the center of the town, it's you or it's having those multiple po properties to get you to the Ten of Pentacles. Strong investment in love here, okay? The Page of Cups. Okay, we got the cowboy stuff showing up. Guy Gambino's there with that hat. There's a certain hat that you got, or like, right? Like you've either got your cowboy hat, Capricorn, or you like your baseball caps and you put your hair in your ponytails. Something like that to keep just, it allows you to adapt to the time where you wear many different hats and you got some help coming in so you guys can work together with the seven of cups to overcome those energies. And before you go right to, oh, they had options, didn't they? No, no, no. Scorpio is the most gorgeous energy here. If you see this, Scorpio is the one that goes through seven levels of ascension from a baby little scorpion all the way up to a big old phoenix and an eagle rising out of the ashes to work together and, and to go back in time and learn from your roots with Chuck Berry, Johnny B. Good comes out on this one here and it's it's also a song like like memphis tennessee with the cowboy hats and the horses on their long distance information see i told you there's a message that starts everything off that song talks about trying to find a party trying to get in touch with me uh-huh that song might resonate that's an oldie but a goodie I, I promise you i know like some newer stuff but for some reason this deck keeps pulling me in that direction keeps pulling us back in all right but with that two of wands there's your third two right at the beginning rewind if you missed it where I said two, two, two might resonate to you. There's the third two that shows up to bring that love your way and the passion, okay? And I told you with all the wands there that it was like, mm-hmm, we're, we're we are not safe for YouTube and we are not going down that well, okay? But yeah, with the Ten of Cups, it is that unique that that it, it it's, it's, you guys learn to each other's love language and it's a dreamier connection. It's one that you've had to put up with where you just get to be yourselves and you get to be heard and respected. It's not just those, you send a novel and somebody replies back with, okay, cool. Yeah, 
the K text. Oh my goodness, just the letter K. Most people, that K text will just drive them batty. Me, I get the K and I'm like, what do you mean? It, it's that ability to keep a communication going, you know, instead of taking everything to that point, you guys just get each other. You can be heard, understood, and rise up to a whole new level. The 25th, the 24th, the 28th might be dates as well that resonate as well as the 17th and the 9th, if I didn't mention them for honorable mentions. Wow, this is incredible. You guys are meeting each other on an eye-to-eye -eye level. Let's you take on the energies. But you've got Cancer here strong, Libra, Capricorn as well. Could be two Capricorns, that's cool. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, big time Aquarius showing up, Leo, Sagittarius, if I didn't mention them, as well as Taurus and Aries, big time. What made me do that? It's the world. Did I not mention like a Capricorn has got like their favorite pair of boots or shoes or heels or something? And there's the world card that I just randomly pulled to in the deck coming back around that you've made it to the top of that mountain with those awesome little billy goat legs rocking your heels and not even feeling tired. Or you found the one that'll give you that foot rub in the evening while you watch one of these movies we were talking about. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Capricorn. Big time. A lot of Libra energy. You've got that balance coming in. You're on the positive side of an uphill shift. Capricorn, claim this one down in the comments. Appreciate you for being here. This one here is something that you are heavy duty manifesting, all right? And uh, leave a comment. Let me know how it resonates and, and, and who and what you're dealing with and just how things are going for you. Feel free to just be a part of the familia. Interact with us. I love you for it, okay? Ooh, goodness. I know it takes me a minute, Knight of Pentacles style, to read all the messages, but I do read, see, like, love. And eventually, I do reply to all of them. Try tested and true. My arrow finds its way to you. I'm like Cupid on a two liter Mountain Dew. <laughs> and I got a hat. I got a hat. I got a hat. <laughs> All right. Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate and love you for taking time out of your day, your week, your life, love, and energy to, to let me read for you. I totally appreciate it. Totally. Definitely. I don't have much Capricorn in my chart, but I always love Capricorns. All the Capricorns in my life are just amazing. <laughs> Anyhow. God, thank you very much, Spirit, as well, for the messages we received today. As always, we are truly appreciative and grateful. We always say thank you. Thank you. All right, Capricorn, remember, this will resonate to any and all placements of Capricorn within your chart, too. Because we're not just our Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, but we're also Cowboy Carter. <laughs> I mean, all the parts of all our charts. All right. Um, and I am FHA compliant. I will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you have to do is ask. Or don't. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Hi, priestess. Shh. I can say no more. I can say no more. <laughs> All right. Until next time, thank you very much for being here, Capricorn. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Just when I remember that I don't have to exit stage right is when I have to go back to recording these things. And then I'll just sit here at the end of the video like, <laughs> I'll see you tonight, okay? Email me at archastrology at gmail.com for a personal reading too if you want, all right? Live, 7.30 p.m. Be there. Love you.